Hello, and welcome to NSO at Home Live, a concert series created by the musicians of the National Symphony Orchestra. My name is Marissa Regni. I'm the principal second violin of the National Symphony. I'll be your host tonight and every Sunday night as we bring live music into your homes and hopefully into your hearts. Tonight, we are joined by husband-wife team Derek Powell and Allison Goodman, violin and viola. Derek is a violinist with the National Symphony Orchestra, and Allie is the principal viola of the Kennedy Center Opera House Orchestra. So tonight we are representing both orchestras in the Kennedy Center building, and we are thrilled about that. We're also going to have another one, our, one of our terrific youth fellowship students performing on the show. Tonight we have Maxence Moriez playing the violin, and he will be joining us a bit later in the broadcast. But first we're gonna go straight over to Derek and Ali. They're going to be playing an arrangement of Franz Schubert's song, Erlkönig. Now, if you've been a regular follower of this show since the very beginning, you may remember in week two, NSO violinist Pavel Prokarski performed this very same piece. He played an arrangement for solo violin. So I, for one, am very excited to hear this arrangement, which I do not know, for violin and viola. I think it's always very interesting to hear how different people reimagine famous pieces of music. And this song by Schubert is very powerful and very emotional. It follows the journey of a father traveling on his horse through the woods in night, at the night and they're rushing through the woods. He's holding his young child, his son in his arms and the son is feeling like he's seeing a demon that's going to take his life. And the father is trying to console him and make him feel better and alas, when they reach their destination, the child is in fact dead. And you feel, really feel and hear this in the music. You're gonna hear very fast, furious, sort of relentless music that represents the horse running so quickly through the forest. You're going to hear the child very, very anguished and hysterical as it, scared as, as he sees this demon and then the father trying to console him. So here for this wonderful Schubert song, please welcome Derek and Allie. Thank you. 
Derek and Allie, that was fabulous. Thank you so much. Wow, that is actually my favorite Schubert song and never heard it better. Thank you so much. I want to remind all of you that you can follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube. On Facebook and YouTube, we are NSO Musicians. On Instagram, we are NSO underscore musicians. We're always posting new content, lots of videos. So please follow us, subscribe to us, like us if you want. We would really appreciate that. And also coming up this week on Friday, we have what's called Noceda Fridays. This is every other Friday. We present um, a rebroadcasting of a concert that we performed earlier with our fantastic maestro, jean Andrea Noceda. And so this Friday, August 14th at 8 p.m. Eastern, you can go on to um, Facebook and YouTube and see a rebroadcasting of Mahler Fifth Symphony. This is a piece of music that we performed just this past season. In fact, we were supposed to play Mahler Fifth Symphony on our tour to Japan and China. We were supposed to be touring this past March. Of course, that got canceled due to the coronavirus. Uh, but that was the piece that we were, one of the pieces anyway, that we were supposed to play on this tour. And it's a very exciting performance. So please check that out Friday, August 14th at 8 p.m. You can watch it. Um, it's up online for 72 hours after that. So you have basically the weekend to watch it. You can watch it as many times as you want. Who doesn't love Mahler Thought? <laughs> So please check that out. So we're gonna head over now to our youth fellowship student. As we've been doing every week, we love to feature one of our terrifically talented high school students that's part of our training program through the National Symphony Orchestra. So these are high school students. They study with members of the National Symphony. They play chamber music with each other and then coach that chamber music with members of the National Symphony. They get to perform the chamber music at the Kennedy Center when the Kennedy Center is open. They observe our orchestra rehearsals, and sometimes they even get to sit in the orchestra with us side by side and play some rehearsals with us, which is always a lot of fun for everyone involved. So this week we have Maxence Moriez. He's a violinist. He's been studying with Ali Osborne. She's an NSO violinist. Um, and I believe he's been in the program for five years and he just graduated from high school. So we're gonna head straight over to Max and see how he's doing this evening. Hello. Hey, Max. How's it going? Pretty good. How about you? Good, good. So thank you so much for being on the show. We're very excited to hear you play. And I, I want to say, first of all, congratulations for surviving high school. <laughs> uh, thank you. <laughs> and give a shout out to your school you just graduated from. Uh, I just graduated from McLean High School. Awesome. So that's McLean, Virginia, for those who don't live in the area. And tell everyone where you're going in the fall in just a couple of months for college because this is very cool. Mm -hmm. uh, so I'll actually be going to the Polytechnic Institute of Porto. They have a school of music there, so I'll be going to Portugal. Yeah, that is amazing. And I, you were saying that you don't start until October, so you still have a couple of months at home? Correct. Yeah, that's amazing. Um, what are you hoping to do after school? Do you know? Uh, probably pursue a, a master's. Yeah. That's yeah. Good for you. Now, I know when you're not busy playing the violin, you like to play a bit of soccer. Is that right? Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, with the family and yeah. Yeah. Do you have a favorite team? Uh, yeah, PSG from, from my hometown. Yeah. And uh, you also, this is amazing, you write film music. Mm, well, well, I try to for now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> have, you, have you had your music in any of films? Like uh, mostly student collaborations. Yeah. Uh, I've been I've worked with some people from my school to to do little projects. That's fantastic. Yeah. Um, do you have a favorite film composer that you sort of follow and? Uh, either uh, Danny Elfman or Kevin Penkin. Yeah, they're both great. Well, good luck to you at school and with everything that you're pursuing. It's just really incredible stuff, and we can't wait to hear you play. I know you've been with the Youth Fellowship program for, has it been five years now? Yep. Yeah, so you started in eighth grade, I guess. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's terrific. So you're gonna play a bit of Bach for us. This is sort of the meat and potatoes for violin. So you're gonna mm -hmm. play uh, one of the fugues. Mm -hmm. yep. yep. So looking forward to it. Thank you, Max, for being with us and best of luck to you and all your pursuits and enjoy Portugal and, and college, enjoy college. It's a great mm -hmm. adventure. Thank you and thank you for having me on. Absolutely, the stage is yours. Thank you. 
Bravo. Fantastic. Thank you so much, Max. We're going to hear great things from Max. I just know it. He's going to take Portugal by storm. It was so beautiful. Thank you so much. It, I've just been so amazed by all of our youth fellowship students this summer. They're really inspiring and, and just terrific. It's very exciting to see the future of music in their hands. So if you're interested in the Kennedy Center or the NSO Youth Fellowship Program, you can go on to kennedy-center.org slash NSO and click on education and then click on career development. You can learn all about our program. If you have um, a student or a neighbor or you, your own child who's perhaps interested, you can learn all about it and see what we have to offer. And obviously these um, these young people are have a lot a lot to offer the world right now, so it's very exciting. Um, if you would like to donate to the National Symphony Orchestra, you can go to, again, kennedy-center.org slash NSO. There is a little button you can click, support the NSO. Um, anything you can donate to us at this time when we've not been able to perform would mean the world to us. Um, of course, everything you donate is 100% tax deductible, so if you would consider that, it would that would be amazing. So thank you for that. And next week, we will be back with another NSO at Home Live with one of my favorite families that there is, the Green family. This is NSO violinist Heather Ledoux Green, her husband Adam Green, who is a percussionist in the U.S. Air Force band, um, and their two fabulous kids, Tessa and Miles. Miles will be playing the piano, Tessa plays the violin, so please join the Green family. And we will have another uh, Youth Fellowship student, of course, Isabel Aronin will be playing the viola. So please join us next Sunday at 7 p.m. Eastern for that. So now we are going to head back to Derek and Allie for some more fabulous violin and viola duets. Let's head back to Derek and Allie right now. Hi, Marissa. Hi. Hi. Thank you so much for being here. Your Schubert was just outstanding. I oh, thank it. you. It's such a fun piece to play and so much character. Yeah. Yeah. Just amazing. So I should tell everybody, Derek is our, like, officially our newest, newest member because you haven't even, well, you have started with us, but you haven't because your first day, your first official day was what? July? July 14th. And here we are at home. But, oh, well. Um, so tell everybody where you were before that. So I was at the U.S. Army Band uh, Strings, the U.S. Strings. Uh, and I've been there for the past four years serving in the army. Yeah. So it was a great experience and, uh, I'm happy to, uh, do something new, even if it's performing in my living room. It's my first performance with the NSO. <laughs> so. Well, I mean, okay. Do we still have to call you Sergeant? Are you still a Sergeant? Staff Sergeant. But. Oh, staff <laughs> sergeant. It's pronounced Sarge, right? <laughs> <laughs> the thing is, if, if I told you to drop and give me 20, I know that you, you could, because I've seen your arms there. <laughs> I have to move the, the camera a little bit. <laughs> anyway, we cannot wait for you to start with us. You sound so fabulous. It just, I'm very excited to finally have you on the stage with us at some point. So I'm excited. Fingers for crossed, right? To do that. Um, and I am amazed also that I learned about you when you were in undergraduate, you were a double major. I always think it's hard enough to just be a single major. <laughs> but you were a double major studying music and... Neurobiology. I mean, what even? <laughs> I was hedging my bets. If music didn't work out, that was my That's your alternate backup? possible future. <laughs> yeah. We're all joking. You're going to have like a little notebook in the back of the section with taking, like analyzing us all. <laughs> Studying everyone's behaviors. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And Allie, you are in the Opera House Orchestra. How long have you been with them? This was my fifth season. Yeah, yeah. You, and, and I should say Allie does play with us um, quite frequently in, as a substitute when she's not, when she gets a free night off from playing in the opera. So it's so great to have you here. And I want to remind everybody that you should also be following the Opera House Orchestra. They're such a valued part of the, the Kennedy Center. So you can follow them. I have to look at my notes for this because it's a, lot, it's a mouthful. Okay, <laughs> on Facebook, you are musicians of the Kennedy Center Opera House Orchestra. Yes. And on Instagram, you are K-C-O-H-O -O musicians. Yes. But yeah, they as well have been posting all kinds of content, including a video the two of you just performed um, in front of George Washington Hospital, right? Yeah. Correct. Yes. Yeah. yeah. That's uh, been a, a, 
a series I think that the Opera House has been doing to sort of yes. Um, there's a series, of, uh, a hospital heroes, a healthcare heroes series that we've been doing once a month, um, having live chamber music, and it's been a great opportunity to finally play some music live, and it's extra special because it's for healthcare heroes. Absolutely, and it sounds great. I heard a little clip that was on our Instagram page, and um, it was just beautiful. So people should go definitely check that out. And Ali, I know you like to ride your bike too, and I guess you've had a lot of time to ride your bike. <laughs> that is true. <laughs> any good, any good trails to recommend? Well, Derek is more of the serious biker. Um, we we tried to get to Great Falls earlier during quarantine. We made it like three quarters of the way, and it was getting cold at that time. Now it's probably the opposite problem. It's but, quite uh, the opposite. Yeah, we've yeah. been checking out the the Custis Trail bike to Bethesda for ice cream from DC. So hey, that's, thing. Yeah. that's my that's more my alley. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'll just meet you there for the ice cream. Okay. <laughs> Well, I know you have one more piece for us. This is um, this is probably actually my favorite duet for, well, I'm just gonna say violin and viola, but maybe it's one of my favorite duets, actually. I love these Martinu madrigals. It's three movements. Um, Martinu was a Czech composer and he based these pieces, or he was inspired to write these pieces by Mozart's duos and also by the English madrigals. They're just so conversational and lively. And after hearing your Schubert, I know you're gonna knock it out of the park, so. Thank you so much for being here. And Derek, we cannot wait to have you in this section. I'm so excited. Can't <laughs> and wait. Allie, we can't wait to see you back at the Kennedy Center at some point someday. I thank you. Yeah. yeah. But thank you so much for being with us. And the, the stage is yours. Take it away whenever you're ready. All right. Thank you. 
amazing. I knew it would be. Oh, so outstanding. What a great night this has been. Thank you, Derek, Allie, and Max for just some so beautiful, just incredible playing. It's just been such a joy to sit in my living room and listen to all three of you play. Uh, cannot wait to be back at the Kennedy Center with Derek and Allie. And of course, we wish Max all the best. So this is it for us tonight. For I, One thing I want to remind you that coming uh, Friday, this coming Friday at 8 p.m. Eastern, you can tune into Facebook and hear the Noseda Friday broadcast. It's Mahler Fifth Symphony, a piece that we played earlier this season with Maestro Noseda conducting. So please tune in for that. Next Sunday, we'll be back, of course, at 7 p.m. Eastern, featuring the Green family, Heather, Adam, Miles, and Tessa, and Isabel Aronin on the viola. She's our youth fellowship student. So please join us next Sunday for that. It's going to be another just terrific evening of music. I know they have some great stuff planned. Um, if you would consider donating to the National Symphony, you can go to kennedy-center.org slash NSO, click on support the NSO, and of course any donations you make are tax deductible and mean the world to us. I want to thank you all for being here with us tonight and every week as you are. Thank you for your support and your enthusiasm. I want to thank our fearless producers, Bob Reardon and his cat Phoebe, who sits by his computer and helps him every week, I know. <laughs> Jamie Roberts and uh, Dave Murray, who helps us with our programs. I want to thank Thomas Baker, who does all the fabulous artwork that you see um, at the beginning of the broadcast. I want to thank Sophie Edwards for setting up my lights, my cameras, my cables, and for helping me with all the um, in ins and outs of technology on this end. Thanks so much, everybody. See you next Sunday. We cannot wait. Have a great week. Stay safe. Stay healthy. Mm -hmm.